Uh, my name is Tim Gretick. I work for HMY Yacht Sales. We're here at the Emerald Legacy Tournament. Well, you know, you've had a golf tournament for 15 years. Why don't you have a fishing tournament? Something that you really like to do. It's a really great tournament. I mean, we have 18, 19 boats, which is unbelievable for our first year. There are no boundaries. It's basically a sailfish tournament, and we'll run two kites off the side and three lines off each kite. You could use live or dead bait. 20 pound tackle is the necessary line you have to use. I have a really good crow actually, so we're gonna give it our best shot. We have the skill, it's just all about the weather. There's events each night. We have ceviche the first night. All the money that we're raising is going to charity. Well, the foundation is all about mentoring children. We're very proud of what we've accomplished. So we're fishing aboard the Lucky 24, a 2015 55 Viking. On board, we had Captain Sean Hardman. The owners, Jerry and Jack Wardlaw, were aboard. We had Mike, who runs a boat out of Bahia Mar. Jeff, who's a normal uh, fisherman on the Sand Bob. And another local guy, Lauren. The first day, we caught nine sails, and we were tied for fourth place. I was lucky enough to reel four of those. When the fish bites, you have to let them eat it, free spool the line, and then slowly reel it tight, and hopefully you're hooked up. And then the fight's on gets really interesting. <laughs> this is a 70 Viking, 2012 actually. I bought it new and customized it with my captain. We do some amazing, amazing dinners. Captain gets a lot of calls from other boats going, what the heck are you guys cooking? You know, we were very happy with nine the first day. Anything to do with the Emerald Lagasse Foundation has to do with great wine people. You know, the foundation is all about children, really about mentoring children, particularly from a culinary hospitality perspective. We had a good day, day two. It was quite rough, and the boat handled great. Running 30 knots into a five-foot sea is pretty incredible in a 55-foot boat. We passed most of the fleet and started right off Boynton Beach. We had kites off to one side, and it's quite a, a scramble in the cockpit, but we got it figured out. That's where we had our first fish. All right, nice and easy back now. We caught two fish, we went two for two. We did come in as the top boat for the last day. It was great for all the HMY family to get together at the, uh, the final event. The silent auction was very interesting, it was towards the charity. Ryan Kish, our president of the foundation and his team, have done just an amazing, amazing job. So I think when you have those forces together, hopefully we're going to be successful. Speed at the carpet, how about 18,000? 18,000, 18, thank you. Oh! 
helping people, having fun doing it, raising money to help them. I don't know, life doesn't get much better than that. It's rock and roll for sure. It's incredible to see people be so generous with their money towards the charity. Three Amigos, a 86 Merit, won the tournament with 17 fish. And we went on a boat today fishing and people are catching fish and they're eating and drinking and having a time in their life and my job is to finish them off. They did an incredible job with a one-of-a-kind tournament. The first time tournament, this was unbelievable. I think as our first year, it's really amazing how it's turned out. It's the most interesting tournament I've ever been to. Great time.